everybody here to get married probably i'm gonna make a really nice stuff in the house with my son chili but as an appetizer and i love this well first thing i tell you support israel support scarlett johansson the actress that they give shit to for selling soda stream i love soda stream scarlett johansson i think she's part swedish part jewish jewish broad with beautiful big boobs she's gorgeous i mean i would support her just because she was alive but i extra support her because she sells soda stream for israel god bless israel good night for everybody a decent pace off to you I'm going to make, for an appetizer, let me get the flame going. I'm going to, I've lived here 10 years, I always turn on the wrong flame. I always turn on the wrong flame. Okay, I'm going to make for appetizer one of my favorites. I love this. Soft shell crabs. I'm just going to make a little sauce with it of low fat, low salt chicken stock, lemon, tiny bit of butter, let it thicken up a little, and some parsley. And I went in the store, and the guy goes, you want soft shell crabs? You want me to clean them, he says. I said, yeah, I'm not too tough for cleaning fish. He goes, I'll clean it for you. And then I saw the thing, like, wiggling, like moving. Now, I don't know about you, but I guess if you're a vegetarian and a vegan, you're going to want to get the fuck out of here now. Because this thing was moving. I love the idea of eating a whole animal. The whole animal. Everything. The skin, the bones. I, I think he took the eyeballs off. I don't want to eat the eyeballs. Okay, so you, you, you're heating up the pan, and here is the big pan for the chili, because I don't, last time I cooked the thing, I was up to 40 minutes, and Jake said, you can't be on YouTube for more than 30, so I want to get this done at 20. I opened up everything, got everything ready to go. Okay, so we got this nice and hot, and uh, we put a little olive oil in there, oh yeah, baby, olive oil, I live on it. It's good for you, it's good for everything. It's good for your head, for your skin, your fucking boner. It's good for your boner, it's good for everything. Olive oil, the best fat you can have. I, I start every meal with, with olive oil, garlic, and onions. That's just on every meal. <coughs> it's okay, I'm okay, relax. Okay, so the flour I use is not white flour, because I'm a health nut. I use garbanzo bean flour, chichi beans as the Italians call it. I buy it across the street in the Indian store. It's a beautiful yellow flour. And what you do is you throw in your beautiful little crabby, lebby, oh, you crabby webbies. And you want to, I more than dust them, you want to make sure they're coated, right? You want to get a good coating. So they're hard to coat too because there's so many like, their bodies have so many nooks and crannies in them. But you get it, see? And then you, you pat it a little because you don't want to overcoat it. Because then it's going to be, you know, you don't, want, you don't want something to taste like, like flour. You want the flour to just give it a nice crispy thing. Okay. Okay, here we go. I think that's all the flour. I didn't waste all that fucking flour. Excuse me, I'm washing my hands from the flour. You get that going, and I got the, the pan going on a high flame. We're going to start the chili now because I don't want to take forever. I don't want to go over 30 minutes and get cut off. And we're going to put a, I, I like a lot of olive oil because you're making a huge pot of chili. And uh, we're going to start, we're going to never start with garlic. You saw the garlic, you're fucked. It's gonna burn and you're gonna fuck things up. You start with onions. You can see my chopped onions. Alright, bye bye. Okay, let's mix it around with a nice, beautiful blue spoon. I don't work blue. I don't work blue. Alright, look at that. It's got. Now, you wanna cook it, you don't wanna burn it. You know, I mean, it's gonna. It's gonna taste a little sweet anyway because it's gonna caramelize a little bit. And that's what you wanna do, probably about three minutes. Keep moving it around, because I cook on a high flame. How are these bad boys coming out? All right, they're cooking, but they look a little dry. So let's introduce them to a little of their cousin, olive oil. Nothing to do with the olive oil from Popeye. Okay, 
Okay, this thing gonna take me. Get my lemon on. Where's my fucking lemon? Money on me. You have to do the lemon always, whether it's hard or soft. You roll it around really good. You loosen the bitch up. So when you cut it, I have to cut it with this. Aye! I told Jake, if he doesn't watch out, I'm going to chop his neck off and hang him in the Chinese restaurant with all the ducks in the window. And then, you know, you just pinch out some of those fucking pits. And if you get a pit, you know, you're not going to die. As my mom used to say, it's the worst that should happen to you. You get a pit. Joe said that. Oh, that's the worst. That's your worst problem. Okay, so we're moving this around another minute or so, and I'm ready to throw in the garlic and cook that a little bit with the beautiful onion. So what we're going to do is we're going to get ready to turn these because they're done on one side in about three minutes and turn them. Like that. You see how they have a nice little crisp crust? And they're still gonna cook. Oh, this one got more crusty. I guess it was, oh yeah, these two are more crusty. I'm gonna turn this one back in the middle because I want it to be as crispy. It's like SpongeBob, crusty crab. Yo, I got me some crusty crab and shit. Alright. Alright, 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 alright. All right, that's cooked enough, all right? You see, it's starting to brown a little. It's caramelized. You know, it's like, I, I love the Goya aisle. I live in the Goya aisle in the supermarket. And I don't give a fuck what you say. Of course, home chopped, regular chopped garlic is the best. But I get fucking tired, you know? So if you could, if you could go like this, you know? And you're done, and this lasts for like six months, and you don't got a fucking chop chop on, and it's like 75% as good. Well, fuck it. But you better mix that garlic around good, because you don't want it to burn. Now here's the thing. Fuck. Fuck that up. No, I didn't. There we go. We turn this one back. Oh, well, that's good. Okay. So these are basically cooked. I'll just shut the fire off for that. Get this garlic going a little with the onions. All right, that's mixed up beautifully. Okay, now here's what I love. Remember Clemenza and the Godfather, Fat Clemenza? Yeah, we're going to war with the other families. He says to Michael, hey, Mike, Mikey, come over here. Hey, don't let go of your love. I love you so much. Mike, let's get serious here. You never know when you have to go to the mattresses. And we got to cook for the men. But let me show you how you start here. First... You take your pork. You got to have your pork because that's what gives it the flavor. You throw your pork in. Then you got your, your chopped turkey in with the pork. And then I'm going to give you a secret trick. Let's mix it around. So we drop more oil in there so nothing burns. What I like to do at this point is that I'm going to add a third meat, which will be beef. And what I do is I buy skirt steak, which is not the most expensive meat. It's fatty and it's on the chewy side, but it's very flavorful because of the fat. So what I do is this. You see this? This part, you can take the fattiest chewiest steak and just pound it. Now if it's chicken, like if you're using it for chicken, you have to be very gentle how you pound it or the chicken will fall apart. If it's something like a tough meat or turkey, you could pound, you don't pound it like this, but you pound it like this, but you keep pounding it. Both sides, keep pounding it. I have skirt steak that's tender. I make it fucking tender. All right? And that's what I did with this. I chop it into little bite-sized pieces. So what you have here, is uh, what I like to do is use this thing. Hold on, where's this shit? Yeah, I like I like this thing so that no big pieces of meat. You know that thing, the mashed potatoes. Okay, so there's no little pieces of meat. They're all chopped up evenly. Okay. 
Okay, the only thing I missed is I wanted to make cornbread. Cornbread with chili goes good. You can also have rice with chili. And um, it's just a little heavy to me. There's like three beans, three meats, rice. It's just a little heavy to me. Uh, it goes good textually, but I didn't make rice tonight. And I didn't make cornbread. Here's the meat. I chop it into little bite-sized pieces. Fry it in a frying pan. I put it in... Okay. <laughs> All right, it's in there now. Mix it up. Everything's getting cooked together. It's like they should be arrested, these motherfuckers, for hanging out so close to each other. But this is when you're mixing all the flavors. They become like one, like one family. They're hanging out in Woodstock. And now I put in my spices and herbs. I love cumin. A lot of cumin. Love cumin. So, not too much. Because it's high blood pressure. A little bit of my family had it. I like a lot of black pepper. So I'm, I'm like a counter. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20, 20, 20. Okay, so there's the counter. <laughs> I like to put a little hot sauce in. This is not very hot. You could put jalapeno peppers if you like hot, hot. But I just put in like Frank's hot sauce, which is like vinegary hot. It's mild hot. Okay. So we're going good. We're going good. All right, this is all cooked. This is ready. Let's get some low fat, low salt chicken stock in here. I don't know how much you just judge it. I'll tell you what. Here's the thing. I hate fucking pasty chili. I hate chili when you take a tablespoon and it's all like beans and meat and no liquid. I like almost like, not a soup, but closer to a soup than to like a pasty chili. I hate it. So I always add liquid. So whenever you get a spoonful, what you're getting is a spoonful of beans, meat, and liquid. Okay, so that, that's how much I add. All right? Now, it's not going to be too much. You can always add more later. What are you doing, you fucking crazy cats? They, I gave them a couple of pieces of beef. They didn't even chew it. They didn't even chew it. They just like fucking swallowed it like their stomach will take care of it. Okay, so this is nice. Three different meats, your pork for the flavor, like flat, fat Clemenza said. Your uh, turkey, your beef, and your pork. It's coming out nice, right? Now, we need to add some tomatoes, whole tomatoes. My hands are very clean. Wiped my hands last week. We're going to take whole tomatoes and San Marzano, of course, and you just crush the tomatoes in your hand. Actually, what you do is easier is get all the sauce, get all the tomato sauce out of it. Sounds sexual, doesn't it? I knew what I meant by that. I don't know if anybody else did. Um, okay. You take these out, you crush them up. Like somebody you fucking hate, you just crush them to death. You don't want really big pieces of... Uh... But be careful, because, you know, you'll get it all over. You won't be nice and clean like Manitoba. Okay, so we got nice liquid stuff going. That's that. Put in some uh, chili powder. Okay, and that's it. You cook it down. Isn't that beautiful? You know, now I have this beautiful top. I love this top. It's like the guy in Goodfellas. I, I, look at that car. I love that car. Did I tell you don't buy nothing? Did I tell you don't buy nothing? I told you don't buy nothing, right? What are you, fucking wise guy? Oh, but that car, it's in her mother-in-law's name. I told you don't buy nothing. What are you, stupid? I love that scene. When they come in the bar to celebrate, everybody, they hit Lufthansa, everybody, everybody goes and buys like $80,000 gifts. 
and the fucking bulls are all over the place. Anyway, I love this thing. I bought it at Bed Bath & Beyond. Forgot about it, Tree Bees. It, it's great, and it lets out the steam. Like, you know, to, 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 to let something boil down a little, you gotta leave the top ajar. With this, you don't. You can put it on tight, because the liquid will come out that way. Oh, fuck. God damn it. This motherfucking tomato. What do you care about the fucking tomato fell in there? It's gonna get cooked 900 degrees. Okay. So we're gonna cook in this. Now the beans are gonna, are gonna add a lot of like starch to it. So I'm just gonna add some extra of this stuff. And I'm gonna start these things up. I'm almost done. I mean, I'm not, I'm telling you, you gotta cook it longer, but these things are kind of pretty cooked. So what I'm gonna do is, is take them out. Fucking hot. Come on, you hot bitch. Okay, and I'm gonna put a nice big flame on this. And we'll scrape off some of this beautiful, these fucking beautiful whole animals that I love eating that they cut the eyes out. I said, yeah, you could, you could clean it for me. I don't want to eat the eyes. I don't want to eat the eyes. All right. Let's, let, let's separate what we're mixing with so the fish doesn't get with this. We mix this up. Okay, what I would do, because then another time, another seven or eight minutes, I would let that stand. This is getting nice and hot. What I do is just a drop more of olive oil. This is for the sauce. What I love to do with butter is burn it a little, just so it gets brown. Because I like the I like the flavor, I like the uh, color. So we'll put a little piece of butter, like two, three pats. Right? But I like to get it brown. butter's burning a little. I mean, you don't want to burn it, burn it. But the beginning it burns. Wait till it gets brown. And you put some of this in. The sauce, you don't need that much because you're only having three. I put the whole juice of a whole lemon in. And one of them fucking seeds got in there. juice of a whole lemon. Mix it up. Let's put this top on here. See how nice that's boiling? Oh, we're mixing. Oh, fuck it. All right, we're mixing it. Okay. We got everything we want in there. It's time for the beans. <clears throat> Usually I like big red beans, the dark red beans. They didn't have the low salt kind in Goya. In Goya. I usually like the really dark red beans. So I got the pink beans, the pinto beans, and I got the uh, the white beans. What are they called? Black beans and the, um, what are the white beans called? Fuck, let me check the garbage. Let me check the garbage. Oh, fucking hell, let Cannelloni. Those are cannelloni beans. And as an aside, take cannelloni beans, put it in a dish, Olive oil, tiny bit of fresh garlic, parsley. You can put lemon if you want. You don't have to put lemon. And a little red pepper flakes. Let it soak overnight. Serve at room temperature on crusty pieces of toasted Italian bread. All right, here goes the beans. Mo, Larry, the beans. Mo, Larry. Okay, so the chili is done. The chili is done. So what, you know, what you're going to do, of course, is... is Taste it in about 10 minutes. I'm gonna lower the flame because you don't need to burn it now. I'm gonna lower the flame. 
And in 10 minutes, you want to taste it with a nice big tablespoon and try to get a little bit of everything in it. If you can't go for the corner, get something else, you know, try to see how everything came out, how everything tastes. But you got to let it sit for 10, 15 minutes on a low flame. Let's see how this bad boy is coming out. Very nice. You see how much, see how much thicker it looks? Okay, let me get that little bastard out of there. Come on, bitch. I got it. Man, I'm good. I got that. Okay. So what I would do is just keep stirring this on a low flame for 10, 15 minutes. There's your basic chili. I would serve it with a cornbread. When you make your cornbread, remember this. <clears throat> Don't remember that. Remember this. Buy a can of like Libby's or some cheap cream corn. Not corn in a can. Creamed corn in a can. And use like five, six tablespoons in the mix with the milk and the powder. <clears throat> damn, damn it, that frog. And then a jalapeno pepper if you want, but cream corn cornbread. It adds that extra, it's so fucking good. Goes great with this. I'd make it before I'd make rice, because look how heavy this is. You want fucking more carbohydrate on top of this? Uh, the sweet cornbread is enough. And when you serve it, you put butter on top. You let it melt on top like a nice babka. You ever have babka? You know how many Jews? You like babka? I love babka. I live for babka. Okay. See how nice this is? All right. So what we're going to do is this. We're going to throw these bitches back in. I don't know if it's a bitch or not. Oh, no. That one's a man. Oh, that one's nice. That's a girl. Okay. So that's that. What I would do is cook these for one or two minutes on this side and turn them over. One or two minutes on the other side. After the chili cooks 10 more minutes, I would let it rest for 10 or 15 minutes before I eat it. You can serve it with a little sour cream on the side. These, you just eat as is. I love that, look at that. I'm gonna eat your whole motherfucking body, baby. That's a big Manitoba. Dinner with Hands of Dick Manitoba stuck in the house with my 17-year-old boy. It ain't so bad, you know. Good health to all of you. Manja. Manja.